Tackling the issue of school bus driver shortages one pedal at a time. Eric Bootsma brings his four kids to and from school on a specially made bicycle. The bunch bike, as it's called, has been his kids' school bus for the last year. He spoke with Enzo Domingo about his creative bike. No waiting in line, no looking for parking spots, bus driver shortages. All these issues don't even fall on Eric Bootsma's radar because of this bike. It's kind of kind of my second car. Taking the kids from his Bird Park home a few miles away to St. Benedict's in the Museum District has been a breeze for Eric Bootsma for the last year. There's a car line that kind of snakes through and they do their best to kind of keep things moving, but you know, it can take, you know, 20 minutes or so to get through the car line at the end of the day. Instead, he and his four little ones just zip on by. My leg power and a little bit of electric power, you know, plug in the battery about once every week and that's about all I have to do. But it's nice to me not uh, sort of inhaling fumes and sitting in in traffic. The convenience of being your kid's transport comes at a time when nearby areas still navigate through a bus driver shortage. This has caused municipalities like Henrico County to up those starting wages for drivers as a means to get more people behind the wheel. But the decision for this alternate means of transport has been circling Bootsma's mind long before driver shortages. But I've been thinking about this for a long time. Uh, my dad's Dutch. They have a real strong bike culture in Holland. You know, they have, it's just part of life. That's how you get around now. Take the kids to school, go to the grocery store. Uh, I ride it downtown to, to go watch a soccer game. He's hoping his decision helps inspire other parents to think outside the box in terms of getting their kids to the classroom while new drivers are sought. And it's really fun to see, you know, other parents who are there say, you know, I'm thinking about getting one of these. Now he tells me even after his kids outgrow the basket up here, he is still going to use his bike for as long as he can pedal. On your side in Richmond, Enzo Domingo, NBC 12. <laughs>